Welcome to our channel, where we bring you the latest discoveries in the vast universe. In today's video, we will discuss the fascinating topic, leaving you in awe. Scientists have discovered planets that are even better for life than Earth. Yes, you heard it right. In this video, we will dive into the top 13 planets that could potentially host life. If you're looking for a new adventure and not afraid of a long journey, one of these planets might be your perfect destination. Pack your bags and blast off to the most Earth-like alien planet yet discovered. Remember to hit the subscribe button, like the video, and leave a comment below about this mind-blowing topic. And trust us, one of these planets will surprise you the most. The idea of switching planets is possible. Let's get started. KOI 5715.01 In 2014, the Kepler spacecraft discovered an exoplanet, KOI 5715.01, located approximately 3,000 light-years from Earth. This planet is similar in size and composition to Earth and has three critical components necessary to support life. What makes KOI 5715.01 particularly intriguing is that it orbits a star similar to our Sun, known as KOI 5715. It is located in the Goldilocks region of its star, where the planet's distance from the star is just right to allow the presence of liquid water, which is necessary for life as we know it. While KOI 5715.01 may be slightly colder than Earth, with an average surface temperature estimated to be around 4.3 degrees Fahrenheit, a greenhouse effect could raise its temperature to support life. Additionally, its larger size compared to Earth could allow for richer biodiversity. KOI 5715.01 is approximately 5.5 billion years old, making it older than Earth. The idea of a planet being more suitable for life than Earth may seem surprising. Still, it highlights the importance of understanding the various environmental conditions that could support life in the universe. Kepler-69c Kepler-69c is an exoplanet discovered in 2013 by NASA's Kepler spacecraft. It's only 2,700 light-years away from Earth. Kepler-69c is a real star in its own right. It's 70% bigger than our Earth and the smallest known exoplanet to orbit in a habitable zone of a star like our Sun. Even though it's further from its star than Earth is from the Sun, Kepler-69c could still be habitable because it has an equilibrium temperature close to what we have here on Earth. That means it's not too hot or too cold for life to exist. Kepler-69c is a super-Earth exoplanet that orbits a G-type star. Its mass is 3.57 times that of Earth, and it takes 242.5 days to complete one orbit around its star. To be habitable, Kepler-69c would need some insulating atmosphere. While it may not have as much atmosphere as Earth, it could still have enough to make it a comfortable home for life. According to an index developed in 2015, Kepler-69c is more likely to be habitable than a hypothetical Earth twin, with physical and orbital parameters matching those of Earth. Kepler-69 might even be better than Earth when it comes to supporting life. Speculos 2c Meet Speculos 2c, a planet with a seriously funky schedule. This celestial body takes 8.4 days to orbit its star, and it's tidally locked, which means one side always faces the star, while the other remains in the dark. Speculos 2c is also a giant, with a 30 to 40 percent radius larger than Earth's. It's located around 100 light years away from us in the constellation Eridanus. Speculos 2c is orbiting a red dwarf star. Its position is in the star's habitable zone means it could have environmental conditions suitable for life. Kepler-1126b Kepler-1126b is a super-Earth exoplanet that's orbiting a G-type star. Its mass is 3.64 times that of our dear Earth, and it only takes 108.6 days to complete one orbit around its star. 
Kepler 1126b is located at a distance of 0.1426 astronomical units AU from its star. 1 AU is the average distance from the Earth to the Sun for all you space newbies. So, this little super-Earth is practically cuddling up to its star. Gliese 667 CC The otherworldly planet is located within the habitable zone of its star, Gliese 667 C, part of the Gliese 667 triple star system, approximately 23.62 light-years away from the Scorpius constellation. That's far away. With a radius of 9,811.3 kilometers, it's roughly 1.5 times the size of the Earth and has an orbital period of just 28 days. That's right, a year on this planet is only a month long. Talk about a short year! Gliese 667 cc is just the right distance from its star, receiving the perfect energy for liquid water to exist on its surface. And where there's water, there's a potential for life. Despite being located over 22 light-years away from Earth, Gliese 667 cc has an apparent magnitude of 10.22, which means it's just barely visible to the naked eye under the right conditions. Kepler-22b Kepler-22b is an exoplanet located about 600 light-years from Earth in the constellation of Cygnus. This exoplanet is located within the habitable zone of Kepler-22, a star similar to our Sun. Kepler-22b is orbiting at just the right distance from its star, where temperatures could allow liquid water to exist on its surface. Kepler-22b has a radius of 15,290 kilometers, which is twice the size of Earth. While the planet's mass and surface composition remains unknown, scientists have ruled out an Earth-like composition, as Kepler-22b is likely to have a volatile-rich composition with a liquid or gaseous outer shell. Don't expect to find any rocky mountains or sandy beaches here. Kepler-62f This super-Earth exoplanet orbits within the habitable zone of the star Kepler-62, and it's the outermost of five planets discovered by NASA's Kepler spacecraft at about 990 light-years from Earth in the constellation of Lyra. Kepler-62f is ancient at a whopping 7.005 billion years old. With a radius of 8,983.1 kilometers, Kepler-62f is larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune and Uranus. It takes 267 days for this exoplanet to complete one orbit around its star, and it was first discovered on April 18, 2013. Kepler-62f could have a moderately thick atmosphere made mostly of CO2, with an equilibrium temperature of 208 Kelvin, minus 65 degrees Celsius, minus 85 degrees Fahrenheit. It's chilly, but still in the range of what scientists believe to be habitable. Kepler-186f Kepler-186f is a fascinating exoplanet located about 580 light-years away from Earth, discovered on April 17, 2014 by Alyssa Quintana using the Kepler Space Telescope it was the first exoplanet found in the habitable zone of another star with a radius similar to Earth's. This exciting discovery confirmed that Earth-sized planets exist in the habitable zones of other stars, bringing us one step closer to finding a planet similar to our own. With a radius of 7,454.1 kilometers, Kepler-186f is about 1.11 times larger than Earth, and its estimated mass would be 1.44 times that of Earth if it has an Earth-like composition. The planet has an orbital period of 130 days, and its surface temperature, without an atmosphere, is estimated to be around 188 Kelvin, which is cooler than Mars. Although the size of Kepler-186f is less than 10% larger than Earth, its mass, composition, and density are not yet known, making it an intriguing object of study for astronomers. Kepler-442b Kepler-442b is a confirmed near-Earth-sized exoplanet with a radius of 8,537.1 kilometers that orbits within the habitable zone of the K-type main-sequence star Kepler-442, located about 1,206 light-years away from Earth in the constellation Lyra. The Kepler Space Telescope discovered on January 6, 2015 that Kepler-442b is one-third larger than Earth and receives two-thirds of the light that reaches our planet. 
With a mass of 2.36 piles of Earth, it takes 112.3 days to complete one orbit of its star and is 0.409 AU from its star. There is a 97% chance that Kepler-442b is in a habitable zone, making it an exciting object of study for astronomers. The planet may also have a thick atmosphere with clouds covering most of the surface, but its composition has yet to be discovered. It is unlikely that the atmosphere is made up of the same mix of oxygen and nitrogen as Earth's atmosphere, which means it is uncertain whether it is possible to breathe the air there. Nonetheless, Kepler-442b's discovery provides astronomers with valuable information on the possibility of habitable exoplanets beyond our solar system. Kepler-452b Kepler-452b is a super-Earth exoplanet orbiting within the habitable zone of a Sun-like star, Kepler-452. It was discovered by NASA's Kepler mission in July 2015 and is located about 1800 light-years away from Earth in the constellation Cygnus. The planet is 60% larger in diameter than Earth, making it the first near-Earth-sized world to be found in the habitable zone of a star similar to our Sun. With a mass of 3.29 piles of Earth, it has a good chance of being a rocky planet. Kepler-452b has an orbitable period of 385 days and an orbital radius of 1.046 AU. Its gravity is 18.63 meters squared and its radius is 1.63 times Earth's. Kepler-452b is the only planet discovered in the Kepler-452 system and is considered Earth's bigger, older cousin, being just 1.6 times larger than Earth and in a similar orbit around a similar star to our Sun. Kepler-1649c Kepler-1649c is a fascinating exoplanet that has captured the attention of astronomers worldwide. It is an Earth-sized planet located within the habitable zone of a red dwarf star, Kepler-1649, located about 300 light-years away from the constellation of Cygnus. The planet was discovered on April 15, 2020 by the Kepler spacecraft. Kepler-1649c has a radius of 6,753.3 kilometers and an orbital period of just 20 days. Its surface temperature is estimated at around minus 39 degrees Celsius, minus 38 Fahrenheit, but this could differ depending on the atmosphere. Kepler-1649c receives 75% of Earth's light from the Sun, which means there is a possibility of liquid water being present on its surface. Proxima Centauri b Proxima Centauri b is an exoplanet located in the habitable zone of the closest star to the Sun, Proxima Centauri, which is part of the Alpha Centauri triple star system. Discovered in 2016, Proxima Centauri b is a super-Earth exoplanet with a mass of 1.07 piles of Earth and an orbital period of 11.2 days. The planet's distance from its star places it within the habitable zone, making it a potential candidate for the existence of liquid water on its surface. While research on the planet is ongoing, some studies suggest that Proxima Centauri b is a viable candidate for being a habitable planet. However, much more research is needed to determine whether the planet has the right conditions to support life. TRAPPIST-1e TRAPPIST-1e is one of the seven exoplanets orbiting the ultra-cool red dwarf star TRAPPIST-1, located about 40 light-years from Earth. It was first discovered in 2016 by Belgian scientists and is roughly the same size as Earth. TRAPPIST-1e is a part of a unique planetary system that offers an opportunity to study the formation and evolution of terrestrial planets. In 2021, a study revealed that the TRAPPIST-1 planets are likely made of similar materials but different from Earth in important ways. Despite their differences, these planets offer tantalizing prospects for the search for life beyond our solar system. Thank you for joining us today and learning about these fascinating exoplanets. I hope you found this information informative and interesting. If you've enjoyed this content, please follow us for more updates. Like this post and leave a comment below with any questions or feedback. See you next time!